So, Kaya, let's let's talk about your roots, not not just as an artist, but as a person. We mentioned your father is from Grenada. You you referenced him uh, on uh, a previous album that you talked about a little bit. Tell us how you, as a musician, as an artist, came to be and landed on playing roots music, the banjo, and so on. Well, so I was born uh, in in Montreal um, to uh, you know a, a definitely like a like a family of hippies, I would say. My, my grandfather was, <laughs> he was like a, a, he was part of the back, back to the land movement in the sixties, him and my grandma. Um, and they were very much into Neil Young and Joni Mitchell and Bob Dylan and the nitty gritty dirt band. Um, and so my mom grew up in that. And then we would have these family gatherings uh, where basically kitchen parties where during the holidays, we would just all play songs together. Um, and so I, I think that was kind of like the, the environment that I was in. My grandfather also built acoustic guitars, um, for a long time. And, you know, I I played cello, I played piano, I sort of went through the classical zone and just really grabbed onto, uh, the banjo. And even when I was playing other instruments that weren't the banjo, uh, it was always like seeing what I could write on them, seeing what I could create. Um, and, uh, and then also having a love for, for the traditional music side. Um, and then my mom actually started running folk festivals after that. So she ran the Ottawa folk festival and then the Winnipeg folk festival. So I was backstage a lot as a, as a tween and teen and probably obnoxiously asking people for lessons and they had to say yes because it was like the executive director's daughter, (laughs) which I feel bad is so tyrannical of me. Um, but uh yeah i have to do some penance for that probably teach someone else's kid at a festival um so so that's that's really how i i came up and and um i i ended up going to college for for uh to study religion and philosophy in in west virginia but i was also on a scholarship to play banjo which continued my education and made records all through all through college and just somehow accidentally graduated into a music career <laughs> Um, and I'm still here. <laughs> it doesn't sound so, so accidental, go. though. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. I should, I should give myself more credit. A little bit, yeah. and you had a lot of, you know, your mom's being the executive director of the Winnipeg Folk Festival. That's a big deal. Uh, I've been to Winnipeg, but not for the Folk Festival. I was there in February, oh. um, not this year. Oh, but that terrible month. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, no, it was planned that way, um, and it's fine because I do love the what the winter and cold weather. I'm one of those weird people. Um, so, and I know I'm coming into this interview late. So, the banjo was your first instrument, is that true? Um, no, it was my I would say third. So I started on the okay. piano and then cello and then banjo. Ah, okay, okay, and then it seems like lately, especially, there's been so much talk about banjo specifically being a a country music instrument and i think a lot more people are becoming um, knowledgeable about the roots of the banjo right a lot those not in the know just think oh banjo country music from you know appalachia the holler but the roots are way deeper and way older than that yeah um yeah it's it's very very true and it's it's kind of cool. I mean, I think that, you know, we were talking about Rhiannon and Giddens earlier. I think she was ready. Like as soon as, um, as soon as, um, Texas Holden came out with Beyonce, which she plays banjo on, you know, she started this 30 days of banjo thing where, where she got this huge influx of followers and said, all right, great. Now let's start talking about like the roots of the banjo and where it comes from. Um, and so I think there's a big intentionality that's happening, you know, with the black Opry um with with Beyonce with with Rian and to um to just kind of educate and and set the record straight not not in any bombastic way but just in like hey you should know that this is you know this is where the banjo comes from and and um these are its descendants and yeah let's keep it pushing (laughs) 